Hi everyone, Dave here at East Rosebud Fly and Tackle, Billings, Montana. Today I'm going to tie another pattern from Craig Matthews. This is what he calls the X2 or the improved X caddis. He has found on some selective trout and some waters that uh, the X caddis simply won't do the job. Maybe they've seen it so many times or maybe they're just extra picky. In many ways it's just like an X caddis but there are a couple of differences as you'll see as I tie it. We're going to use a rib of pearl crystal flash. We're also going to use a wing of white sparkle yarn and then of course uh, we're going to make a slightly bigger head on it with some dubbing. So we'll start out as usual. This is a uh, dry fly hook. Of course you can tie it with any dry fly hook. This happens to be a fire hole 419 and this is a size 14 and you can tie this pattern small as you'd like to. It's actually a very easy and tolerable pattern to tie. This is 8 uh, Vivas thread. We're going to go ahead and make a thread base starting behind the eye and come back to the end of the shank. Return your thread back to about two eye lengths shy. For the shuck we're going to be using amber sparkle yarn. As I mentioned in the other in the X caddis you don't want to overdo the amount you use here. I see it often people tie it too heavily Remember, this is supposed to represent simply the skin of the caddis as it's emerging, and this is an emerger pattern meant to be fished right in the surface film. So we'll take a couple of wraps here of thread, then pull our yarn back so we don't have so many butts to trim, and go ahead and wrap back to the end of the shank. And I like this to be no longer than about hook shank in length. But we'll trim it there. Advance your thread to about halfway, and we're going to tie in a single strand of pearl crystal flash as ribbing. Go ahead and tie this in on the far side. We're going to wrap this in a conventional manner, clockwise. and bring your thread one spiral wrap forward so we can dub it. For the body we're going to be using hair tron which is a combination of rabbit hair and clear and tron. It gives a nice sparkly body. It's very easy to dub. As always you want to try to keep your dubbing thin so you have control over it. and we'd like to taper it slightly as we go forward. The caddis adult bodies are very thin so you don't need to overdo it. We'll wrap back until our dubbing starts and then start a nice tight body as we go forward. and stop a couple of eye lengths short of the eye. Now we'll take our single strand of pearl crystal flash and we'll wrap several wraps of ribbing. The caddis pupa when they emerge are typically enclosed in a bubble of air that they generate between the nymphal shuck and the adult and this helps give this fly just a little bit of glitter to simulate that. And then another portion of this fly is an underwing. We're going to tie in some clear sparkle emerger yarn. A couple of soft wraps. Now we want this to be more towards the sides on the fly. Then on the top we want this to be able to show. Again this is kind of the illusion of that nymphal shuck. We'll push it down along the sides, make several tight thread wraps. Go ahead and clip off the butt ends and make this about the length of the body. Just so another one of the differences between this and the original X caddis. We're going to make the wing again out of X caddis hair 
You can also use Comparadon hair. The difference is this is coastal deer hair. It's very short, does not have a lot of insulation because they don't need it where they live. This is the bleached color. It comes in a variety of colors. I like a bleached wing simply because it's a little easier for me to see at distance. We don't need a great deal here. Make sure you grab it about a third of the way down from the tips to, so that you can get all of the under fur and the short hairs out. You don't need a large bunch here, but the under fur on this type of deer tends to cling very closely. So you really want to make sure that you clean it well. And then we'll stack it and check the tips on it, make sure they're even. All right, once you look at your clump of hair, it's not unusual to see broken tips and pull those out. Why? Because you can, and it makes your fly look better. Always try to tie the best fly you can possibly make. You'll be happy with the results, and you can show them off to your buddies. I need to reduce this clump just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And I'll stack it one more time. So we want this hair to be uh, to the end of the curve of the hook. So we'll measure that. Grasp your spot and clip the hair off right in front of your fingers. This way you won't have any butts to trim. We'll make two loose wraps over it. Hold the hair firmly, pull down, and make band of thread. On this fly we're going to go ahead and cover the butts because the last thing we'll do is make a head on it out of natural hair's ear. This does not have any antron in it. It's just natural deer hair fur. The reason for this is because it's nice and spiky. We don't need very much and I don't like to dub it real tight. couple of wraps here. The hare's ear dubbing helps to capture air bubbles, which not only makes the fly look alive, but help to keep it right there at the surface. You have to look closely to see the differences between the X caddis and the X2, as Craig likes to call it. But there are some features here with the clear underwing and the dubbed head and the ribbing that goes over the abdomen. So give it a try. Next time you come across some trout who won't take your normal caddis emerger, give the X2 a try. As always, thanks for joining. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll see you next time.